we have outgrown the shed. It's hard to believe that in only one year's time here I'm filling up this shed already, so what I need to do is start to get some organization done in here, and that's where my wife comes in. She's very good at seeing the vision and seeing things before it's actually in place, whereas I'm kind of a visual learner, I kind of need to see it actually in person for my mind to kind of get the whole thing. So that's where she comes in on this whole process and helping me organize this thing. I'm also not the greatest at building things or building workbenches or storage for the shed, and that's exactly where my father-in-law comes in. Yeah, but I don't need an overhang, I guess is what I'm saying. So you sit like this. Okay. So you want from the back stud wall 32 inches out to here. Yes. So the idea for the build here and what my wife kind of wanted to do with the back wall of the shed was to build kind of a tiered shelf type system so I can put all of my mowers and larger equipment in this area. So they'll have kind of like mower bays down at the bottom where I can actually put in a couple of my bigger mowers and then up on top of the shelf there I'll be able to put some the larger equipment and maybe some of the smaller push mowers that I have. So that was kind of the idea of it. Really the build didn't end up being too difficult I don't think at least for me I was just pretty much filming the whole time but uh, it's a kind of a good opportunity for my wife also to always work with her dad a little bit and kind of learn some of the woodworking stuff she really enjoys doing that so it's a great opportunity to learn that and just kind of be with family as well we did finish the shelf system and then we brought it back home to the shed And right now I've just kind of thrown things on there until I get everything in my shed and everything has a place. But for now, that part is actually done. We're going to be moving on to the electrical next, running some electrical lines in there for the areas that we need the electricity first. And then I will be working on my workbench area. I have kind of a, a thought of what that's going to look like. We'll see how it turns out. But thanks so much for watching this one. We'll see you next time. When we, yeah, when we build this shed, everybody's like, "You, why are you building that so big? And I was like, just wait. Well, you can only know with so many mowers. Mm -hmm.